so I wanted to uh, introduce another real-world example. This one's really good for negative externalities of production, as well as common um, pool or common access resources. So this is from The Guardian, um, and it was published uh, January 2022. And the title is, It's Mind-Boggling, The Hidden Cost of Our Obsession with Fish Oil Pills. You know, those pills that people take for like omega-3 or whatever. Um, are the supposed benefits worth the global, uh, worth the cost to global ecosystems? Okay, so I'm just going to skip. And um, basically, the article focuses on the world's largest fishery, which is the Anchoveta catch in Peru, um, which is enormous. Okay, so we're talking about the Anchoveta catch in Peru, uh, the world's largest fishery. Let's scroll down. Um, Despite being highly regulated, so the industry is already highly regulated, the fishery has recently been condemned for misreporting catches, so not reporting the exact amount that they caught, and for putting workers' health at risk throughout the COVID-19 pandemic by failing to isolate infected crew members, leading to large outbreaks. Also, in 2022, um, the industry was investigated for harmful and unsustainable practices in Peru's fish meal and fish oil industry. Okay, so this signals that there's a negative externality and there's a, an overuse or an overexploitation of a common uh, pool resource. The fishery is also reportedly catching too many juvenile or baby anchovetas. Okay, if the fish are caught before they reproduce, the population cannot sustain itself because eventually, if all the fish are caught as babies, they're not being given a chance to reproduce. Eventually, well, we run out of fish, right? Um, although Peru's anchovetas are at risk of being overfished, the fishery was actually on the verge of collapse back in the early 1970s. And then the government um, instituted all of these strict measures to save the uh, fishery. All right. So the rest of the article just kind of provides a lot of details, but this is a very good real world example. So how do you represent that using a diagram? Well, what I did is I drew a diagram for fish oil. Okay. The price of fish oil here quantity of fish oil on the x-axis and then um, I drew an negative a negative externalities of production diagram where there is a problem of overproduction so on the demand side there is no problem but on the supply side the supply curve is the MPC all right but the MSC think of that as the ideal supply so MPC is the actual supply MSC think of that as what's what supply should be so S equals MPC is what supply is, actually is. MSC is what supply should be. You can see the vertical distance between the two supply curves. I labeled negative externalities of production. And an example of that is the unsustainable overfishing and the depletion of the fish stock in Peru, right? And that's how you link it to the common pool resource. Notice on the Y axis and the X axis, I put the product that is extracted from the fish Right? I'm not representing the common pool resource itself, but representing a product that is produced by consuming this common pool resource or using this common pool resource. And of course, I highlighted the welfare loss. Um, the market is producing an equilibrium outcome, QE and PE. This is what the market is actually producing. This is the equilibrium market outcome. But the socially optimum outcome or the allocatively efficient outcome is QOPT and POPT. So the distance between QE and QOPT is um, the amount of overproduction of fish oil. Okay. Now the industry is already regulated, so the government can maybe impose stricter regulation measures, tax um, those uh, companies that produce the fish oil, which would shift the supply curve to the left and raise the cost of production. Right. Bring the equilibrium quantity closer to QOPT. So these, these are all measures. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a simple sort of real world example that you can use for negative externalities of production and um, common pool resources. Have a great rest of your day and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.